Well, hello, my friends. Miss Susan from the Crystal Lake Public Library, and I am so happy you are here. So, just to let you know, I am doing story time on my own again today. Apparently, Ro and Mabel, they're like besties, they were outside all night long. I mean, it was a beautiful night last night with a beautiful full moon and lots of bugs that Mabel just is so interested in. And Ro has taught her how to pounce. She pounces quite well now. And so they were outside frolicking in the moonlight chasing bugs. You know, I have a fenced backyard, so they were all well protected. But man, he's tuckered out, so he's actually sleeping in his basket. But no fear, I actually have a plan. I do. This is a story time I did for a preschool. And it is perfect for this time of year because, do you see that face right over there? I'll just grab it. There are lots of flowers like this all around. Do you see these lovely little flowers? Some people call them weeds. No, they're flowers. Do you know what kind of flowers these are? Yes, these are dandelions. And I have to say, they are a pretty amazing flower because number one, they bloom into these yellow. Look, it's like the same color as my headband. They bloom into these beautiful yellow flowers and then they close up like this one. Do you see this one? It's closing up. And then they magically open again to look like this. These little dandelion puffs. So we're going to do a story time on dandelions. I'm sure some of you have gone outside and collected dandelions. We used to collect dandelions and then like braid them together and make like a little crown. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to first teach you a song, okay? And this is a song that we use American Sign Language, ASL. And that is the ability to speak with your hands. Now, I am not certified as an ASL instructor, but I really enjoy learning the different words and using our hands, okay? So I'm going to teach you some of those right now, and we're going to put it together in a song, okay? So here we go. So this song is to the tune Frere Jaca. Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, dormez-vous. Yeah, you know it. You know it? If you don't know it, you're going to know it now. All right, so I'm going to teach you some of the words that we are going to sign. And it all has to do with flowers and blooming and sunshine and growing and soil. Miss Susan loves getting her hands dirty in soil. I do. I don't wear gloves. Mm -mm -mm. I like getting my hands in the dirt. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first word we are going to learn is bloom. And you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna make this motion, like you're picking up something, and you're gonna to go to one side and then the other. That's the word for bloom. Bloom, can you do that with me? That's the word bloom. The next word is soil. So you take your hands and your thumb and you pinch them together and you rub like this, like you're picking up soil and you're feeling it between your fingers. So it looks like this on the other side, but you're going to do this motion for soil. All right, so do you remember what bloom was? Bloom, soil, and then the word yes, take your hand in a fist, cover it with your thumb, and do this. That's the word, yes. So we have bloom, soil, and yes. Now the word grow. I love this one because it looks like it's growing. Your hand's right here. Take your other hand underneath and push it through. <gasps> Look at that. It's like something's growing. So that's grow. All right. Another word we're going to learn is water. 
So you're gonna take your first three fingers, your pointer, your middle, and your ring, and you're gonna put it right here. This is the word water, water. This is also the letter W in sign language. So water, you see that? That's water. And then let's see the last word. I have a cheat sheet here because I'm still learning. Oh, the last word is sunshine. So you take your hand like this and you go, I think it's like this. So it's sunshine. Doesn't that look like the sun and its rays going down? All right, so now we're going to do a song all about the flowers and how they bloom and how they grow and how they need water and how they need good soil. All right, here we go. Ready? Blooms need soil, blooms need soil. Yes, they do, yes, they do. Plant your blooms in soil, plant your blooms in soil. Watch them grow, watch them grow. Should we do that again? Let's do that again. Blooms need soil, blooms need soil. Yes, they do, yes, they do. Plant your blooms in soil, plant your blooms in soil. Watch them grow, watch them grow. See, I'm still learning too. All right, second verse is blooms need water. Do you remember what water is? It's this, W, tap your cheek, water. And do you remember the word? Oh, I think that's all you need. Yeah, just that's the next word. So water. So here we go. What's blooms? I forgot. Yes. I'm so glad you're with me. My goodness. So blooms need water. Blooms need water. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Feed your bloom. Oops. Feed your blooms with water. Feed your blooms with water. Watch them grow. Watch them grow. Awesome. All right. And our blooms also need sunshine. Do you remember the sign for sunshine? Sunshine. Sunshine. All right. Blooms need sunshine. Blooms need sunshine. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Let's see. Set, set your blooms in sunshine. Set your blooms in sunshine. Watch them grow. Watch them grow. Awesome job. You guys are so amazing. I just love hanging out with you. All right, so now we're going to read the story about these blooms right here. It is called Lucy's Blooms. And do you see those? Those are dandelions. She's got a whole backyard of them. So this was written by Don Bab Proshovic and it was illustrated by Alice Barrington. So let's get started. There is Lucy's grandmother's house. And do you see here? Look at all those dandelions. How beautiful is that? Lucy wove her wagon through the meadow behind Graham's house. She breathed in the soft, sweet smell as hundreds and hundreds of bright yellow blooms danced tall and proud in the wild grass. While Lucy wandered, she sang Graham's gardening song. Load up the wagon and off we go. Plant little seeds and watch them grow. A clump of blooms leaned in to listen 
and Lucy stopped and smiled. Hello there, she said. Would you like to enter a flower contest? We could surprise Graham with a new blue ribbon. The blooms swayed in the breeze as if to nod their approval. Well, first, I need to move you, Lucy said, as she gently shoveled the blooms out of the ground and into a cozier spot. She scooped handfuls of soil until the flower pot was full and the blooms stood still. Now wait here, Lucy said, patting down the last bit of soil. The flower festival is in three days, but I'll come back and visit you tomorrow. Lucy danced tall and proud, just like the blooms in the meadow, all the way back to Graham's house. Oh my, what a lively show, said Graham, clapping her hands. You must be ready for a cool drink, after all that whirling and waving. And while Graham poured the pitcher, she whistled a song, and Lucy stood close to listen. The blooms dug in their roots into the soil and explored their new surroundings, but as the day lingered on, the soil grew dry and the blooms began to fade. The next morning, Lucy returned to find her blooms drooping over the side of their pot. What do you think she might use or need to make them spring up again? You're right, water. Oh no, she said, you must be thirsty. Let's get you some water. And Lucy lifted her watering can and sprinkled her blooms. And while Lucy watered, she whistled a song and her blooms perked up to listen. Oh, much better, said Lucy. I'll come back first thing tomorrow to give you another drink. Lucy skipped back to the house to draw Graham pictures of her blooms. Oh my, what a cheery bunch, said Graham. And I'll bet they're hardy too. Did I ever tell you the story about the daisies I knew that liked to play hide and seek? So Lucy nestled next to Graham on the porch, swing to listen. The blooms tried to nap in the meadow, but the blazing sun was too hot. The next day, when Lucy returned, she found her blooms curled and crisped. Oh no, said Lucy, you must be uncomfortable. Maybe you'd like a shadier spot. So she wheeled the wagon under the oak tree and climbed onto Graham's tire swing. Did you know that once upon a time Graham played hide and seek with some daisies? Her blooms peeked their sunny faces out to listen. Ah, much better, said Lucy when her story was finished. I'll come back first thing tomorrow to take you to the contest. Lucy skipped back to the house and snuggled under a blanket to watch the sunset with Graham. Oh my, this is my favorite part, said Graham. Mine too, said Lucy. The blooms shivered in the cool night evening air. The next morning, Lucy's blooms huddled together in the center of their pot. Oh no, said Lucy. You must have been too cold last night. So Lucy brought her blooms out into the sun she sprinkled more water on her blooms, she whistled more songs to her blooms, and she told more stories to her blooms. Then she danced a little dance for her blooms, and Lucy's blooms popped or bobbed playfully as they basked in Lucy's love. Much better, said Lucy. Now you're ready to win. And Lucy rolled her wagon down the path and into the town square. The judges looked at Lucy's blooms. They sniffed at Lucy's blooms. They measured Lucy's blooms. Oh no, their faces. Hmm. One of the judges opened the rule book and pointed to the small print 
Aha, she said, these are a bunch of weeds. And as the rule book says, no weeds allowed, another judge said. Lucy wilted. The weeds went white. Tough break, kid, said the first judge. Better luck next time, said another, as they moved on to the prize table. Lucy watched as the winners were announced most beautiful, most fragrant, and most colorful. Lucy stood by her blooms and breathed in their soft, sweet smell. Their cottony tufts tickled her nose. Don't worry, Lucy said. You win the grand prize, most loved. And her blooms shimmered in the sun. Come on, Lucy said with a smile. I'll race you back to Graham's. And she took hold of her wagon and ran. Do you see what's happening? Yep, they're all floating away. And I noticed, look at these little cracks in the sidewalk. There's another dandelion growing right in that crack. A fantastic flurry of silky seeds swirled and twirled behind her. The end. What a great story, right? Right? So what I love to do with dandelions, especially when they get to this big puffy stage, I love to blow them around. And do you realize that each little puff from one of these is another plant? Mm-hmm. Some people don't like these in their yard. I, I love them. I think they're wonderful. And they're so soft. I mean, you can feel them on your cheek. Oh, it's so, so soft. And I mean, seriously, this is like a flower. You get a two for one here. It's one plant, but you get two different types of flowers. You get the yellow ones and then you get the puffy ones. So thank you for joining me in our wonderful story time today. And I hope you go outside and collect a whole bunch of dandelions. Mm-hmm. They're just beautiful. Some people think they're weeds. Nope. They're flowers to me. Have a good day, friends. Bye-bye.